are still coming, but perhaps we can slowly get started. If you would take your seats. Uh, welcome, everyone, to the European Health Management Association annual conference here in Espo, or Helsinki area. Um, I would like to introduce first the, the introductory panel, what we're doing here right now. This session is the welcome and opening, and we will be giving several speakers will be coming on stage to give you a few um, introductory details about the proceedings here over the next few days. Uh, my name is Anu Partanen. I will be here over the course of the next few days, uh, moderating several sessions and being your host. Uh, my background is in journalism, so I'm not a medical professional, but I've written in my work as a journalist about healthcare systems in different countries. So I'm very excited to be here uh, in this international atmosphere discussing such interesting complex issues with healthcare management. Uh, I will first run through a few quick, just sort of important things to know. Security instructions here at Dipoli, you can see all exits are marked with green signs. So while you're walking around, maybe you can slightly pay attention to those. And of course, if there's any announcement, just follow the directions and head for the exits. The conference has an app. I, I downloaded it yesterday myself. It was very easy. And I could see that a lot of people were already using it, which is great. But if you have not yet downloaded it, you should do so because some of the sessions require registration. And if there's any changes to the program or any news, those will also, you can see them on the app. So that's a very useful thing for you to do. You can also network with others, send messages, and so on. I'd first like to um, introduce Professor Federico Lega on stage to say a few words. He's the president of EMA and a professor of health management at the University of Milan. Please welcome Professor Lega. Thank you. Thank you, Anu. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to the brave that made it at 10 in the morning, uh, uh, the beginning of the conference. Uh, I'm very happy to see so many people today here gathering uh, so early for the beginning of the conference. Um, let me welcome on behalf of Emma to the 2019 conference. Uh, we're very happy to be here in Helsinki. This is a really gorgeous place, isn't it? It's a, it's a fantastic venue. And paradoxically, when you, when you look at this fantastic venue, you think, actually, I'm not going to work here because this is actually, there's so many other things to do <laughs> rather than listening to a conference for three days. Uh, but then when you see such, such places, I mean, uh, it really drives you to do your best, right? It really drives you to concentrate and do uh, uh, the best of the three days because you really feel comfortable and uh, you really feel in the right place. So that, that's my feeling, at least. This is the right place where you can have three fantastic days of networking, uh, learning, sharing, uh, doing everything that actually uh, we think is worthwhile to do when we come to the EMA conference. So my, really my invitation is to take advantage of these three days, uh, starting from the, the morning itself, because the morning is the most uh, calm uh, period during the conference this morning. Then starting from lunchtime, uh, you're going to have uh, plenty of opportunities to spend the rest of the day and the rest of the the next three days uh, doing uh, uh, sessions, uh, discussing with uh, friends or making new friends and creating networks, uh, uh, learning. Um, we, we've been trying over the last years to, years after years, to improve the conference, uh, to make it more, uh, uh, rather say, um, a, a good mix between uh, strong academics on one side but also a lot of practice-based uh, experience and, and learning on the other side. So we really hope that this year in Helsinki, we're going to do a next step forward in this, uh, in this direction. We're very happy uh, to receive from all of you the feedback uh, about this. Uh, I have also to thank, uh, obviously, the Helsinki University Hospital and THL, the two partners that actually help us in doing uh, this. And I have to say also um, a big thank to the Secretariat of HEMA, uh, which really worked really hard in the last uh, three months, uh, even more than that, actually, is a year, actually, is a year engagement uh, running a conference like this. So I just want to thank you immediately, uh, Federica, obviously, Michele, and uh, Nadia for, for doing this, and also the rest of the staff uh, of EMA. 
So uh, my last invitation is, is uh, in such a, a sustainable environment, or in such a sustainable place like this, uh, let's have a three days of conference in which we all together will try to address uh, the main matters, uh, the main issues that we have in the agenda of all health system. And uh, three major issues uh, are obviously regarding sustainability, economic sustainability, environmental sustainability, and then social sustainability. I think all of the health system represented in this uh, uh, conference, through you, through the different nations that you represent, the different system, will have the, do have the same issues. We'll try to find solutions, so please uh, engage in very fruitful conversation. Again, welcome to 2019 EMA conference, and uh, all, wish you the best for the next three days. Uh, thank you, Professor Lega. Uh, I'd like to invite now to the stage some of our hosts here in Finland. So Dr. Marina Erho is the Deputy General from the, the Deputy Director General of the National Institute for Health and Welfare here in Finland. And Dr. Markku Mäkijärvi is the Chief Medical Officer of Helsinki and Uusima Hospital District, HUS, which operates 22 hospitals and covers health care for 1.6 million people here in Helsinki region. So please welcome Marina and Markku. Good morning, dear participants of European Health Management Association's annual EHMA Conference 2019. On behalf of National Institute of Health and Welfare, welcome to Finland and to this EHMA Conference. As you see, Finland is already getting ready for summer. I myself have started this morning in swimming in the lake. After that, drove about 200 kilometers to get here with you. So it seems that weather is treating us nicely also, and you, you see the best of Finland during your visit here. First, just a few days about National Institute for Health and Welfare and our shared past with the European Health Management Association. National Institute for Health and Welfare, THL, we study and monitor the health and well-being of the Finnish population. We gather information and use it to support structural reforms, decision-making in all levels, and the everyday task of healthcare and social services. Our data is open, and it is our goal to make sure that our data is actually not our data. Our data is everyone's data. That means that everybody can benefit from it. For example, our comprehensive indicator database can be accessed by anyone fully in English and Swedish also. We deliver official statistics, expert support, and high-quality healthcare research results. We have almost 1,000 highly skilled co-workers here in Helsinki to protect and promote the well-being of the Finnish populations. THL is also a long-standing member of the European Health Management Association. During our years together, among many things, our experts have been working in the board, in the scientific committee, and also in the Young Advisor Committee of EHMA. Participants of the annual conference are together in Finland for the second time already. Last time we were in Finland together, 2010, and that time the conference was held in Lahti and now here in Dipoli in Espoo. After 2010, Finland has been struggling with its health and social care reform, which seems to take only minor steps forward and is still far from the original goal. Multiple governments in Finland have tried to tackle the challenges which are common for many European health system, eldering of the population, and at the same time, very significant uh, challenges with funding of the services. At the same time, health information and technology takes leaps and provides concrete tools to take health management on, on our health system to a new level. When reforming health systems, we have to look 
into the past to understand the need for change, but more and more we have to look in the future to understand the possibilities and practicalities of the change. This year's team, Health Management 2.0, means that together we are trying to identify the skills and the competencies for future healthcare leaders, especially skills in leading the change are needed. Someone in the WHO recently said that Finland is the poster boy of health information. This means that we have succeeded in managing our health information so that it can be applied efficiently, not just for the manager and decision makers, but for the benefit of us all, for the benefit of the Finnish population. <coughs> Only in rare occasions, our humble Finnish nature lets us brag with our compliments. What could be a better place than an EHMA conference for this bragging? For example, during this conference, you will hear a lot about Kanta, a nationwide digital system which enables data sharing be between healthcare organizers and the possibility for citizens to access and view their own personal health information, prescriptions and test results safely. This is not a privilege for few, but a widely used national service. Last year, over half of the Finnish population had used Kanta to view their own personal health information. Another, but a very different example, is the Genomics to Healthcare project, which works to adopt precision medicine in day-to-day -day practice by combining genomic data from the Finnish biobanks bio and research data from population studies. This conference is an excellent opportunity to have good discussions about how these and many other examples of modern change drivers are reforming our health systems and our health services as we speak. On the behalf of the National Institute for Health and Welfare, I would like to thank EHMA for this possibility to host this year's conference, Health Management 2.0, and once more, once again, more warmly welcome to you to this conference. Thank you. Good morning, <clears throat> all EHMA members and the participants of this Congress. Uh, on behalf of Helsinki University Hospital, it's my great pleasure to welcome you to this annual conference here in Tipoli, Espo, in Helsinki area. We all love this place. The architecture is so great and the nature around you. So enjoy everything at your disposal here during these days. But as a hospital leader, I have to talk about problems. Some call them challenges, but I call them problems because they are, some of them are pretty wicked and nasty. We have problems with getting personnel, uh, getting people with enough knowledge and know-how to do their job. We have problems of hiring good enough managers and leaders. The medicine is developing very fast. New drugs, new treatments, new devices, they are so expensive and so complicated. Uh, the costs are hiring. How to make the digital disruption in medicine? It's not there yet, like in banking or insurance or traveling. So it's still to come, but we have to make it and competition is harder, at least in here, capital area in Europe, it's rising. Legislation is causing problems, bigger and minor, almost every time. And in Finland, we have a special case. We've been planning to reform our shows on healthcare for several years, and it's like the TV series in Hollywood that now we start the fifth season and we should actually do it. We haven't done it yet because we haven't been able to decide it. So hopefully this new government will do it. As a representative of a university hospital, there is a, always a need for research funding, especially for clinical research. For basic research, the situation is a bit better. So. 
let us use these days, EHMA Congress days, in order to change information, learn from each other, have some good time also with our children, and network, and make the disruption in healthcare possible. And let's start it now. Welcome, Hartley. Uh, thank you, Marco and Marina. Uh, we will continue here. Marco was, of course, perfectly outlining some of the issues that I'm sure many of you share, but I am sure we will solve all of them during this conference. And if you are at all discouraged about the situation in your own organization or country, just ask any Finn here. They will be happy to commiserate, I'm sure. Um, next, we will have Michele Calabro who's EMA's policy and communications manager, and he will talk a little bit about EMA to you and its functions. Thank you, Hi, everyone. So first of all, thanks again for, for being here in Finland. Uh, the team is really excited about having you. Uh, thanks again to, to our host for uh, such, such great support. Uh, I'll, be very, uh, I'll be very brief, uh, and I just wanted to, uh, for, for those who doesn't know uh, still EMA, uh, and for our members as well, just to focus a little bit on why, uh, what's our mission, what's our vision, and why we are here uh, to organize this conference and to try to uh, help you spread the knowledge about health management. Uh, in two words, really, uh, our vision is, of course, to support the spread of excellence in health management at all levels, uh, as systems, as services, and also the individual, uh, which is something that we started to develop recently. And of course, in doing so, we try to focus on sustainability and improving well-being uh, of uh, uh, the European population. And how we do it, uh, the conference is a great example of that. We try to bring people, experts, uh, academics, practitioners, uh, managers, managers together in this sort of dynamic European health network, which includes our members, but also uh, some of our partners, organization, industry, uh, and, uh, um, and policy makers. And we try to do it making knowledge about evidence-based, of course, uh, practice more accessible to everyone. Um, here, just actually wanted to show you a little bit uh, how we, uh, we look at health management internally, how we sort of link uh, the work that we do with the projects, with, uh, uh, with the vision and mission of the organization. Uh, indeed, health management uh, is, uh, uh, it is sort of uh, one of the most complicated things that exist in the world, but uh, we try to look at it as the, the most comprehensive way possible with these three levels of uh, health systems, health services, and also individual uh, health management, and bringing together the stakeholders that are at the heart of uh, uh, these uh, this three um, main uh, uh, sub-levels of, uh, uh, of health management is the categories. And of course, also, how do we do it? Uh, we bring uh, people together for education. Uh, you will hear more about uh, uh, the, the, the next steps of uh, uh, our activities on this side with the Winter School, for example, with the PD group. Uh, we work on leadership. That's something that was mentioned already. It's quite important for us. Uh, we work on research. We collaborate on many European projects. And of course, uh, we also want to, to improve uh, 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 policy uh, in terms of health systems and, uh, uh, and service management. Again, uh, just some examples of, uh, of what we do uh, to sort of achieve these goals at three levels. We have international collaboration and networking with some of the projects that are mentioned here. Uh, you will see, for example, some stands uh, for the to reach, uh, to reach project, which is focused on health systems and uh, services research, uh, sustain integrated care multi-act uh, on uh, responsible research innovation. We connect our membership and network uh, to uh, groups, uh, especially interest groups, uh, the PD group, uh, we support education of uh, health managers at all level, and of course we are very much open to partner with industry partners towards multi-stakeholder uh, engagement. These are some of the things that you mentioned. You, you surely have to, uh, to worry about, as Marco would say, maybe problems, <laughs> but, uh, or, or rather challenges. It's just uh, a quick map of something that is going to be discussed here at the conference, something that we will maybe like to discuss uh, in the future with you uh, as member, as network partners of the organization. At workforce, personalization, integration, uh, digitalization, of course, are just some of them. 
And to just uh, close and then give the, the word to Nadia, three uh, short messages from, uh, let's say, my, my work here at the European Management Association and at this conference. So first of all, um, we, you will see we have some session dedicated to special interest group. Uh, we're launching a new special interest group on governance uh, and we want to sort of work again with the special interest group that are already out there, integrated care, primary care, uh, hospitals of the future, health workforce. So please contact, uh, get in touch with us, get in touch with me and with my colleagues about that uh, to, to know more. Um, for the first time this year, we will also uh, work with some uh, uh, volunteers and team members to prepare a conference report uh, which will include the key messages and have some sort of uh, manifesto of the EMA 2019 conference. So uh, please uh, uh, stay tuned for that uh, because we really want to help us uh, shape our work and improve uh, health management in the most comprehensive way possible. And one last thing. Um, I will stress you, everyone, like, uh, just please use the hashtag EMA2019. It will be the first time that someone says it, but, like, probably you will hear it much more. But please help us uh, uh, also get in touch with those who are not, unfortunately, here in ESPO. Some session will be also live streamed, so please uh, let your network know about that. And I'm then uh, leaving uh, the, to Anu. Uh, thank you, Michele. So next, I'll invite on stage Nadia Rudzova. Nadia is the Events and Partnerships Manager here at EMA, and she will walk you through a little bit of the conference themes and sessions and what we'll be doing here. Good morning, everyone. It looks actually great from here, with every one of you being here with us present today. A uh, really warm welcome from the entire team, from the hosts, from partners, everyone who is working on the conference, uh, to our friends, to Emma friends, that's how we consider you, um, to all the new uh, delegates who joined us this year. And I have to say that that has been quite a trip this last year that we were putting together the entire program for you and working together with our partners, with hosts, with supporters. Um, a lot of people got involved in order to put this conference together. So we really hope that you will enjoy these two and a half days of packed program, which will be really fascinating. A lot of interactive um, sessions, a lot of networking, uh, social activities. So do just get the most of it, and we hope that you will like it. So you all have received already for sure the program in your um, delegate bags, but basically just to emphasize a little bit on maybe um, key points and um, just to walk you through the, the conference and what is going to wait for us for this two and a half day. So probably you have seen already that we've got this beautiful exhibition area um, and basically so that you understand uh, maybe a little bit better how it is structured because it's really, it's made easier for you to navigate and to uh, network with your peers. Um, we have uh, clustered actually all the posters and the stands into knowledge hubs. So as you have probably seen the conference, it actually focuses on, on six different sub-themes. Um, systems organizational governance, sustainability, digital transformation, as well as the personalization, integration, value-based healthcare. And do not miss a great opportunity actually to listen to your peers at the uh, poster pitching that is going to happen today and tomorrow during the lunchtime. And Anu is going to help us with that. Uh, those who are poster presenters, just be, uh, be courageous. Don't be afraid to, to volunteer and uh, pitch your poster uh, to attract more, uh, more interest and to discuss your research. Then basically, if we look at Emma at a glance, you have seen that we have the parallel thinking sessions, which will be followed right after this session. Uh, then we have in conversation with experts, 
where we actually this year we, we got the record number of experts and speakers, uh, which is more than 60 of really um, uh, the, the key influencers in the field. So do not miss also the, on, the opportunity to discuss, to debate, to share your opinions. So these sessions are unique because these are not stage sessions. You will not really hear the presentations, but it will be a frank conversation between your colleagues and you. So do share the experience that you have in your organization, in your country. I'm sure it will be a really fascinating experience. And then, of course, we have the plenary sessions with two keynote speeches. And uh, on the last day, we have the Amazon and BMI competition, which is a really fascinating activity. Um, the Amazon that has been uh, actually organized by Emma already for the second year. And these are the students who are brainstorming for the last two weeks in order to put, uh, to put in front of you actually solutions how we can in improve uh, the, the situation in healthcare and how we can cope with the challenge that was given to them. We'll talk a bit, a bit more about that also during our opening plenary session today. And just to focus a little bit on the workshops and partner sessions, um, that's also the format which will be very interesting for you. So as, as being said, um, we, we worked with a lot of partners and supporters in order to make really a very diverse program um, together with our program steering committee and advisory board um, who, who worked hard actually to just to think of different um, topics and sessions that can be interesting for you. Let's focus just quickly on the workshops and partner sessions if we are talking about today. So we've got in the afternoon, we've got the lunch workshop, uh, Hospitals of the Future, as well as the observatory session uh, together with the OECD and the European Commission. And then we've got also the special interest group on governance by the Good Governance Institute, who is uh, one of EMMA members. And that will be a really great session also to get involved if you are really struggling with the challenges in, in governance. And then we are also having a session by Duodecim uh, about health benefit analysis in value-based healthcare. Really, um, top-notch um, sessions and really interesting conversations are going to, uh, to wait for you there. Then for tomorrow, uh, we've got also plenty of interesting activities going on apart from the parallel sessions and plenaries. Um, we have the profiling the health worker of the future given by the Health First Europe and the My City Lab project, as well as the uh, Karolinska Medical Man Management Center and Emma Research Award. There we will, uh, we will hear actually the best uh, PhD papers presentations, so really the, um, the outstanding PhD students who are going to present their, um, their papers. And the winner will be announced also at the last plenary session. And then the last but not least, we have the Nordic Healthcare Group. This is the local organization here in Finland who would like to share with you experiences in applying value-based healthcare, uh, social and healthcare in practice, as well as the session uh, which is offered to you by Abbott and partners uh, we, about the best practices to advance healthcare, integration of laboratory insights and health management, which will be also a truly fascinating discussion with really high-level speaker, speakers and uh, really um, groundbreaking insights. And then talking about tomorrow, uh, then we've got in the morning, we have the converting learning materials into e-learning sessions, which is uh, provided by our program directors group, which is led by Dr. Stephen Brooks from Manchester University and uh, Jill McCarthy. And basically that will be really a hands-on session. So if you are an academic and you would like actually to bring your content online, just grab your laptop and join Stephen and Jill and they will be just really great trainers for you. So uh, just really a great learning and training opportunity. And then basically we have the digital therapeutics startups and EU policy discussion and the environmental sustainability, which we all agree is a key topic nowadays, which is uh, provided to you by the Helsinki University Hospital. 
So let's go into a little bit more fun, probably. It will be, of course, a lot of fun uh, during the sessions. But then we also organize the, uh, for the first time, actually, uh, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, the leisure activities. So please do explore what is interesting for you. Join uh, your peers, your colleagues in this fascinating activities. Uh, you can just sign, sign up for them at the registration. Uh, so we've got the morning charity run where we are actually supporting the SOS Children's Villages for the really great cause. So our idea is really to leave the legacy behind and to support the local community. Together with Visit Espo, uh, uh, the Helsinki University Hospital and the Radisson, we are organizing this charity run. And then we have also the uh, really interesting um, activity, which is the bird watching tour. So that's, we, we have been all intrigued by that. So please do join. And I'm sure that that will be very interesting. And then on Wednesday, we continue with the morning charity run probably on two days. It will be quite hard to join both, but <laughs> those who can, you should. And we have the architecture tour. As you can see, we are really in the iconic building and Alta University and Espo in general has been considered a really uh, the trendsetter in terms of design and architecture. Um, so the students from the Alta University, they will be giving you a tour actually in the surrounding area. So why not to join and just enjoy the, the walk in the morning, enjoy this beautiful sun, which already probably doesn't go down actually during the night, but um, it will be a definitely an unforgettable experience. And then about the social activities, uh, probably, well, that will be at my last slide because I think that you all just try for a coffee already. So let's wrap it up. And basically tonight we have the social mix. So please do join, everyone is very welcome. Uh, we have the buses departing right after the sessions at 6.30 and we start the welcome reception at 7 p.m. which will be held at the uh, Espo Cultural Center and it is very generously provided by the city of Espo and the mayor of, of Espo who would like to welcome all of you um, as the conference is very important for the community, for the government. So it will be a really great, um, it will be a really great networking uh, opportunity. And then tomorrow, those who have already signed up for our social dinner white, white nights will have a unique opportunity to explore actually really different format because we are all used to the gala dinners or going to the nice restaurants. But basically, Finland for us, it's really a pure nature. It's really um, beautiful lakes, beautiful forests, and um, and we want to give you this rich experience of uh, culture, Finnish culture, uh, Finnish hospitality. And we are going actually to the Nuxio National Park, um, which is a splendid place. And we are going to get to know actually the midsummer tradition. So the midsummer, it's a very big celebration for Finnish people probably, and Scandinavians in general, probably you will hear all about that during your networking. Um, with, with, with your colleagues. So um, basically those who are attending the dinner, we are going to gather around 6 p.m. at the parking of the uh, Dipoli venue in order to leave to the, um, for the dinner. So on that point, I would like to thank you very much and I wish you a really successful conference. Just get the most of it. And I'm really so happy to see so many familiar faces, uh, but also the new ones. So we really hope that you will stay with us and that you will enjoy these days. Uh, so all the best to you. Mm.